In this video, I'll teach you a few tricks on creating your initial task list in Microsoft Project. You know, in Microsoft Project, it isn't that hard to create the initial task list. It's just a bunch of typing, really. But I do know a few tricks that'll make your lives a little bit easier, and I'd like to share those tricks with you. So let's get started. During the initial task planning process, you may discover that you forgot a task, and it needs to be inserted in between two existing tasks. The easiest way to insert a new task is to do this. Select the task row where you'd like to insert the new task. And then on your computer keyboard, press the Insert key. You see, the Insert key is the keyboard shortcut for inserting a new task row. In that blank row, enter the name of the new task and then press the Enter key. During the initial task planning process, you might also discover you need to delete a task that will not actually be needed in the project after all. For example, my fellow project managers have let me know that task number one is no longer needed in this project because the product requirements are already known. The easiest way to delete a task is to right-click anywhere in the task row and on the shortcut menu, choose the item Delete Task and it's gone. Finally, during the task planning process, you may discover that you've put tasks in the wrong order and you need to move them around into the correct order. Let me show you how to move a task using the drag and drop functionality in Microsoft Project. For example, task number six is in the wrong place in the task list. I need to move it between tasks number four and five. Here's how to move a task using drag and drop. Click the row ID number of the task to highlight the entire task row. Release your mouse button and then click and hold your mouse button again to grab the entire task row. Move the task up or down on the screen until the big gray insertion point appears exactly where you want to drop the task. To drop it, release the mouse button. That's how to use tricks in the initial task planning process. I sure do hope that these task planning tricks will be helpful to you. If so, please consider subscribing to this channel. If you liked the video, be sure and give it a like. If you have questions or comments, please add them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer every question you might ask. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.